So in this video, there is a tag going around the witchy community on YouTube. And I wanted to do the tag as well, especially since it's a paranormal tag. Um, it is from Amethyst Ascension. I will have hers down below. Also, Little Cosmic Crows will be down. That's the one that I saw to actually do the tag. Um, I thought it was a cute tag, and with the Halloween season coming about, I felt like it would be perfect for an October video. Now, there are 11 questions, and I will have the questions down below as well. And obviously, video response to Amethyst and myself, I would love to see your answers. Okay, question number one. Do you believe in aliens? Yes and no. I don't feel like they look like what society has them looking like. But I do believe in them because we can't be the only planet that has living beings on it. You know? Number two. Do you recall a past life? Actually, I do. Um, I actually have a lot of memories from my past life. One in particular where I was a queen and I also was a witch. Um, and I've seen myself doing a lot of things that she does. One thing that's actually kind of funny and weird. Um, I know for a fact that she had three children, a bowl, or three children girl, boy, girl, and um, they were three and a half years apart. Now, when I got all these dreams and stuff, it was before I actually had children myself. So when I had those dreams and knew that, and then it started going into that path because I do have a girl and a boy, they're three and a half years apart, but I haven't had my third child. And people are like, well, maybe that's a blessing in disguise because of the way that I believe that, uh, she died in my past life. Now they say that, you know, your birthmark is how you died in a past life. Well, if that's the case, then my birthmark is on top of my head, which means she had a pretty either quick, painless death or a very long death. So that's the way I kind of see it. Like I do have them, but I don't know any of them except that one. Number three, do you believe in mermaids? Actually, I do believe in mermaids. There are parts of the sea that we don't know. We would rather take our resources and put it up to the sky when we need to take our resources and find what's actually on this earth. Because space is beautiful and I love space and stuff, but there's parts of this world that we live on that we haven't seen. I don't feel like they're like the little mermaid. Um, there was a documentary a couple of years ago uh, about mermaids and I feel like that's more accurate in the sense of what they look like because they wouldn't not have gills. Like they have to be able to breathe underwater. So it's not like a human that has to hold their breath. Like they have to be able to, but I also feel like they've advanced enough where they don't have to come to the surface like whales do. I feel like they've advanced enough where they can stay down deep and there's parts of the deep, deep blue that we don't know and I feel like we would actually find them. I don't feel like they have washed up on the shore or anything. If they want to be hidden, they can stay hidden. I mean, there's fish down there that have, like from prehistoric eras that we didn't know about until now because we're going down there and exploring. Okay, number four, do you believe in Bigfoot? No, not really, but yes. I mean, I feel like there could be a creature like that and people may be seeing creatures like that, but I've never heard of a story in my state They're more the stories that I hear are up north. So I don't know. Like, I'm kind of on the fence about that one. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, I, 
I don't know. Number five, do you believe in ghosts? Actually, I do highly believe in ghosts. I have, I know for a fact, two that live in my house currently. Um, if you've watched my stepdaughter story, then you know that she lives here and also our, um, my stepson. I feel him, but I haven't seen him. My wife has said that she's seen him, but I've only felt him. Um, and then we have, like, our grandparents come and visit us sometimes. So, yes, I do believe in ghosts, and hopefully I will be starting paranormal hunting soon, and I cannot wait to do that. Number six, do you believe in vampires? Yes. But not like Twilight or, you know, vampire movies and stuff. There's obviously vampires out there because... Um, there are ones that drink blood. There's ones that take energy. Like, there's different types of vampires. But I don't believe they have that where they can't go out in sunlight and garlic and stuff like that. No. Like, the basic stereotype for a vampire? No, I don't believe in that. But I do believe in vampires. Um, I know that for myself, I do crave blood sometimes. You can call me a vampire you want. You can make fun of me if you want. I don't care. I'm just answering the question. Number seven. Have you ever astro traveled that you remember? No, I haven't. Um, there are a couple of videos on YouTube that I have tried to get into that state of mind, but my brain is too spastic for me to even can think about doing that. That's the reason that I have to listen to scary stories before I go to bed. It actually calms my head and my brain down enough to actually sleep. Number eight. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Not to my remember, like, not that I can remember, but I have heard and read a lot of stories about it. Um, I feel like it'd be a traumatizing experience for me. No. The answer is no. Number nine. Do you have any of the eight psychic players? Okay, so I had to look these up. Um, there's clairvoyance. I feel like I do have that. Okay, I am an empath, but not as much as my wife is, and I know I'm clairvoyant. And the clair... Constance. I can't pronounce words. Okay. See, I didn't know that these were... I mean, like, I knew about clairvoyance. But I didn't know that there was actually, like, eight senses for psychic abilities. Um. So, yeah, I do know that I'm clairvoyant. And I can sense... Uh... And I'm an empath. There was one that you experience clear knowing when you just suddenly know something to be true. I can do that as well. I'm sorry that I am horrible at pronouncing things and I'm a bad reader. So I do apologize for that. But let's get back to the last two questions. Okay. Number 10. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? If you have watched any of my paranormal videos. Yes, I've had a few paranormal experiences. Have I had any recently? Um, yes, I think I've heard uh, my stepdaughter a couple of times. Just the giggling and um, seeing her out of the corner of my eye. Other than family stuff, I haven't had any paranormal experiences. But uh, I would love to have them. I actually do enjoy knowing that um, especially when I'm home alone, knowing that I'm not home alone completely, but I don't want, you know, some random eh, ghost to come and do no, I'm good with that one. Okay, in the last one, have you ever been abducted or contacted by aliens? No? No, I have not. <laughs> See, the thing is, is I didn't read these completely. 
Yeah. I did not know that was number 11, but that is actually an interesting question. I would love to hear other people's responses on that particular question. Because um, the fourth sense was kind of creepy. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I put out witchy beauty and fashion videos. Bye-bye. Blessed be. Thank <laughs> you.